what's up YouTube what's up hammerheads uh, van hammer HP Craig coming at you again hey uh, if you've if you've paid attention to our Instagram you probably already know the secret but yes e85 we're on it the tune is in uh, the tank is about three quarters full because uh, we've been running on it a couple days and and just let me tell you amazing this these cars run amazing on e85 now we haven't ran it ran it uh just because we're still on the base uh file tune from palm beach dyno um and so with that what i'm bringing to you today is just some uh just a quick data logging uh video with your engage your hp tuner engage uh from palm beach dyno uh, if you're like me, I've never done anything like this before. I've never, never been a part of the custom tune world and, and had to load and data log and, and things like that. And so that along with me not being an expert automotive guy, uh, you know, sometimes I'm not keen on all the lingo or, uh, stuff like that. So uh, if you were like me at all, when you first get this and you start, you send off your, your base file and then you start getting data log requests back from your tuner and stuff, you might not always know exactly what they're asking for. Uh, and maybe don't want to, don't want to look uneducated, I guess, but there is stuff out there. Uh, that you can read up on and kind of educate yourself because ultimately your data logs and everything unless you have the money or the ability to go to your tuner uh, and for your tuner to put you on the dyno um, your data logs are the most important thing uh, to make sure that what you want done to the car and what the tuner is doing the car is good for the car uh, to make sure all that's working right your data logs are very important and to make sure you're getting to them what they're what they're requesting um so anyway we're just going to do a quick video here over um the first a couple initial data logs that uh, palm beach dyno has requested uh the first one being just it's just an idle uh basically what you do is you just start up start up your car let your engage power up, go to your data logging screen, uh, hit start Start the data log, let it idle for about two minutes, um, and then stop, stop the data log. Let's start this up here. Like I said, we are on E85 now. Um, yeah, we've almost gone through half a tank of E85, and it uh, ran pretty smooth. Um, pretty excited about it. Okay, so this is just the base screen that we have up now, tracking speed, RT, uh, RPMs, air intake temp, and our uh, coolant temperature. Uh, if you'll just hit one of the signals, you come to this screen, and you'll see the, the start data log button right here. As soon as you hit it, it starts the data log. Go ahead and start that for our idle. And we're gonna let it run for about two minutes or so. Um, if you notice here, um, on startup, we're at uh, 1K RPMs, and then of course the car will settle down and we actually drop to about uh, I don't know, around 600, I believe. If you'll see, there's where the RPM dropped at idle. Okay, so that should be pretty close to two minutes, I imagine. Uh, so, we'll just hit, now you just hit your little, kind of the square stop button there. All right, and so that returns you back to your gauge screen that, uh, and you're done, okay? And it will log that numerically on your SD card under a folder that says log. So it's super easy to find. Once you get home, you'll take that SD card out, load that file, 
uh, onto your computer and you'll end up sending it back to Palm Beach Dino. Before you load it, it's probably best to just label that file as well. You'll just change the name and you'll change it to something like E85 2 Minute Idle. Uh, and that will let your tuner know and probably help him organize and maybe save him a little time uh, on his end labeling stuff and, and knowing and knowing what everything is and then he can take that uh, data log and put it into uh, you know whatever file or whatever he has for you so the next file uh, that they request or the next data log that they request is uh, what's called a step step rev test all right so the step rev test they asked a step rev test up to 3,000 um, 3,000 RPMs, okay? You'll do this in park. You're gonna step it up, and what you're gonna do is is make step revs up to 3,000 RPMs. Now, as you make each step, try to rev and hold it somewhere. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try probably 1,500, then I don't know, maybe about 2250, 2500, and then 3000. Each one of those steps, hold it. Start the data log, and then we'll rev probably up to 1500, around 225, uh, and then all the way up to 3000, holding it each one, and then releasing it, let it come back down to idle, and then stop your test. So, again, we'll go just touch your screen. Okay will start the log And we're gonna do it one more time to see if I can just get a little more accurate on my RPMs here. Okay, and we'll stop that log. So, pretty simple. But, if you don't know what they're asking for, you, then you don't, know, you don't know that that's what you need. So, anyway, so the next test uh, we have to get out on the road for. The next uh, data log that they ask for is uh, what's called a WOT, W-O-T, or Wide Open Throttle. And so that's exactly what it is. So definitely make sure when you do this test, uh, you're somewhere where you can do it and do it safely, especially on the E85, because you can break traction uh, pretty easily with the E85 when you're going wide open throttle. So uh, the next data log that they asked for is they wanted us in third gear and they want you at 2500 RPMs and then just mash it. You mash it and you go all the way until it shifts, uh, which should be uh, around 7800 RPMs. That's that's what a watt is. And it, you know, your tuner will let you know what, what gear you need to be in and what RPM range they want it for. So uh, we'll try to do that. I don't know that I can give you the uh, RPM video in the and everything with that because like I said with the E85 you can you can lose the traction and so both both hands need to be on the wheel when you do it yeah. all right so I found one of the easiest ways to do this in in the automatic Mustang is
is uh, get yourself down to about 35 miles an hour and then use your paddle shifter to uh, drop you down in a third let that RPM come down to 2500 uh, start your log before this because once you get down there you need to go you ain't gonna have time to reach up and it's just because if your paddle shift isn't activated for so long then it's it's gonna kick it back into whatever gear that the computer wants it in so uh, just start your data log uh, like I said about 35 miles an hour kick it down to third gear with the paddle shifter and then walk it down to 2500 and then wide open throttle is wide open throttle just punch it and, and go those we'll label it e85 watt test we'll send that off and uh, wait till we get something back once we get those tunes back and we get to go ahead from trevor then uh, we'll do a little e85 review in the car uh, and let you know let you know what it's like and i can tell you just from doing those those data log tests this thing will get up and go and like I said, you gotta be careful. Um, Cause even with the traction control on it, it will uh, the tires will move a little bit. It it doesn't get crazy squirrely or nothing, but you do feel them move. And so, if, if you were running it in track mode or something like that with the traction control off, you may get a little squirrely. So anyway, that's just a little on the data logging. I uh, hope that helps for people that may have never done it before or new to the engage or in the data logging process uh, and what Palm Beach asked for you. Uh, anyway, uh, if you got any questions, your tuner is always a good person to ask those questions to. So, um, anyway, like always, drop the hammer. Peace out.